everybody, it's April. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. I'm going to share with you the unboxing of the My Monthly Hero kit for November. So this one is really cute. I've seen a few projects so far with the advent calendar theme. So it might be a little challenging for a 10 cards one kit, <laughs> but we'll see if I can at least get five cards done with it. Um, so let's see here. It comes with some embossing powder. All right, let me get this tissue paper out of the way. So we have two jars of embossing powder. I didn't look online. I apologize to see what shades they are. Um, but this is a gold, and this one is. Hmm, it's kind of hard to say. It's got like greens and browns, like a forest moss almost looks like, with flecks of gold and brown. Let me see. So, I don't know how well you can tell there. It's like a green and brown mixture, or green and gold. And then, this one looks like it's just straight up gold. Yeah, so I would think those might be, this one looks like it might be more of a fine detail. Um, so again, I apologize I didn't get those um, particular names listed, but I'll put an, a link to Hero Arts down below in the description in case you're interested. I know the kit is probably sold out, um, but sometimes you can purchase the add-ons and things like separate items such as the embossing powder and things like that. So I'll put a link down below in case you're interested and want to check anything out on their website. But um, So yeah, this one comes with a background stamp. This is so pretty. I wish I would have been able to get the, um, the other background stamp, the add-on that has all the gifts. I think that would be adorable. It's such a quick and easy way to do you know, your background stamping, like just stamping this straight up and then add a sentiment and you have a card. So I really, really like that. Um, it's really nice that they've included a background stamp with the kit. I think that's great. Now this one does have three individual stamps that will come out. So if you wanted to use those for separate, you know, individual um, stamping, you could do that along with, you know, doing a full sheet of all the ornaments. So um, yeah, it's a good quality red rubber, so there's that. Uh, let's see, directions for an advent card project. So that's pretty cool. So it has, um, here's the kit contents. I do like that they're putting that on there. Um, I hope they continue to do this. So 4 by 6 clear stamp set, uh, the ornament flap fancy die, a 4 by 6 ornament background cling, which is this one, and then, um, so this is a 0.5 ounce green gold embossing powder. <laughs> That's okay. And then a 0.5 ounce gold embossing okay, powder. Okay, so here's the background stamps from what I've seen. This is what you would stamp onto uh, your paper, and then your die would coordinate. I'm not sure which way. I would say this way, maybe. I guess you could really stamp anything you want in it. Let's see. Okay, so it goes over this part. Um, so that one would coordinate with this stamp. And then when you pull the flaps up, you could stamp any one of these little items here. Let me get a blank sheet of paper um, for your little peekaboo window. So when they pull up the advent little flap, you know, you could put any one of these um, characters behind the flap. And I do like that it has the numbers. I wasn't sure about that. So if you wanted to, you could just cut this die, um, you know, with plain cardstock and not have the ornaments, and then just do the numbers. So you could have one and one through twenty-five on your flaps. So I was thinking about that. But yeah, so there's a lot of little images here: candy cane, cookies little um, reindeer, glass of wine, a mitten, gingerbread man, Santa Claus, a star, mistletoe, snowflake, another mistletoe that says kiss, make a wish, cutie pie, bring cheer, warm hugs, ho ho ho, be merry, 
You have a dove, a piece of candy, another ornament, another snowflake, a little snowman, rocking horse, a little Christmas tree, hot cocoa mug, um, love you, all the numbers. You have a little angel, a bell, cold, warm, hot, cool, another ornament, a snowflake, a turkey, that's pretty cool, uh, Christmas, um, it just says Xmas, a candle, a stocking, a gift, and then another snowflake there. So really super cute. Um, I would I would think you could also just, you know, stamp this whole thing all over and make a background too, you know. Um, I know sometimes when I get things like this, I'll just put, like, I'll take this part off the back, and then I will just tape it here, this, to my top of my Misty or the top of my stamping platform and then use the whole thing as stamp as one time so that's an idea there I might do that <clears throat> just make a bunch of background kind of papers so anyhow um, that is the kit very unique and original there with the advent calendar I really really like that idea um, and then some embossing powders to play with and that's it so um, I hope that you guys were able to pick up one of the kits um, let me know in the description down below if you did if you've already been making some cards I'd love to see them and some ideas um, you can follow me on Instagram at Oakwell designs over there um, so yeah I'll talk to you guys later and thank you so much for stopping by mm -hmm.